So, okay, Priyanshu, so any final uh, suggestion for the candidates who is preparing for yeah, So, what I will tell is, uh, see, technically something that I think most of you will be doing in mm-hmm. the first place. Mm-hmm. And so that is okay, uh, but uh, don't forget to uh, own your non-technical skills. Like how so yeah. non-technical skills also is very important yeah, because if you are coming for the Amazon interview. Especially for SG2. It is okay. a little bit okay if you are going for SG1. But if it is SG2 and above, you should be very good on your data set principles. Okay. Like are you able to earn the trust of your colleagues? Mm-hmm. Are you deep diving enough to get to the solution? Mm-hmm. Are you obsessed with the customer? So Amazon is a customer obsessed company. Okay. So whenever they build something, the first thing that why should be the customer using? Mm-hmm. Like suppose you are using, suppose they are building Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. The first dream of the end, end result. Mm-hmm. This is how Prime should look like. Mm-hmm. Then they come back. How to build it. Okay. So this is what customer obsession is. You first you design the output, mm-hmm. then you backtrack. You reverse engineer. Okay. So, or, or, and mainly for the technical, uh, they should be focusing on data section and system design. Uh, Main yeah, uh, yeah. And apart from that, uh, do they have to focus on the language as well, like Java language? Uh, so so Amazon doesn't language. believe in asking language question. So okay. they, may, so they will never ask a single question in Python. Don't Thomas. prepare for uh, any language. Yeah, not so uh, yeah, but the only thing is you should be good enough in any one of them to write ah, Definitely, code. if you are writing a code, then you should be yeah. able to write the code. <laughs> if you don't know how to implement hash time, then that is your fault. They never ask you to use <laughs> Okay. And yeah, one last question I wanted to ask. Um, so as you said that before joining Amazon, yeah. you were uh, you know part of startup, right? Yeah. So did uh, that kind of experience help uh, you in the interview? Like yeah. So actually, just, you know, most of the time, most of the company they might be thinking they might take that startup experience as in gap, year uh-huh, gap, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. It happens all yeah, the time. Yeah. So what happened here? So it depends how well do you define your startup experience. Okay. Like if you're able to justify that, they say they are not concerned with the name of the startup. Mm-hmm. You made a startup, nobody knows it, it is fine. Yeah. What they want to see is what did you learn from that experience. Okay. So if you uh, had done something that was related to a lot of data set principles, mm-hmm. like you were, you were handling the entire company, mm-hmm. aside from technical things, mm-hmm. and suppose you have designed the entire backend kind of stuff, Okay. then bring out those points, so that so that qualities in yourself. Like in my example, when I was in PayPal, obviously I was in SD1 and I was in SD2 for only 2-3 months, I think. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have much of a data load in that. Mm-hmm. All that experience came from a startup only. Because okay. I was kind of handling my own the marketing, sales, <laughs> back and everything. I was doing Almost everything, that. including HR role also. <laughs> <laughs> so that shows that you're, you're handling a company entirely by yourself, right? Even if it's a very small company. Okay. Yeah. So you have to bring out all those faces of you, like how good you are in all those things. Okay. So once you are able to make them believe that in the startup experience, you have learned all these things. Mm-hmm. Like uh, in technical skills, I had learned a lot in AWS. Mm-hmm. That helped a lot because Amazon is again based in AWS. Yes, yes. So and also in uh, from my non-technical skills, so I had a lot of understanding of business domain. Business domain. Like how to understand the customer, what they need, and, and build the product accordingly. Product. Startup, that is what they do, right? And that and is what Amazon also does. Uh, based on uh, client understanding, uh, uh, you know, you have to understand like uh, how to break down uh, into the feature wise, uh-huh. so that you know you can build a product. And on if I say one that. quality that was bang on with my experience, it was customer obsession. This that was what I was exactly doing for the last one. Okay, we were we were going out making a survey, having Google Forms. Figuring out what they need and then we will build it. <laughs> okay. So that is what they like the most. Okay. And okay. Yeah, one pro tip uh, yeah. in your resume, make sure that you have one at least one or two projects that shows that you have laid a team, designed something, and yeah. not just coded it. Yes. They want to see at least one of your leadership principles reflected in your resume. Mm-hmm. If you are resume doing above, I think we're doing. Okay. And for the SD one, is SD one it is not compulsory. Yeah. Does not measure not not inside. Yeah. Because they understand that since you are all, you are only a couple of years of experience, mm-hmm. and you will not be having all that uh, things in life, like all their experiences in life, all your data principles. Mm-hmm. So it is okay. If you are if you are good in coding, they will hire you. So uh, uh, what is the experience like? like and I don't SD1? think I don't think SD one has a bar as well. It is only for SD two now. Okay. So uh, madam, how much you know the experience minimum experience uh, the candidate should be having for let's say for applying for the SD two. So what would be the years of experience in terms of work? So mostly it is from, I think from three years, from, three? yeah, from three to, there are exceptions always, mm-hmm. but it is around mostly from three to eight years of experience. Okay. Uh, that is the ideal range. I will, I'll say three to five, Okay. but three to eight is okay. Okay. But again, if you're a five and above, then I think you can also have to have a three also. Okay. And who knows if you're good, you get selected for it. Okay.